Hey, Jesus Christ bless you. God bless you, family. Um, I wanted to share. So I read the book of Revelation. Um, I, I finished the book this morning during my prayer time with Jesus. And it was my 90th time I finished this book since uh, since the world changed about three years ago. Lord put it on my spirit and my radar back then. Um, as I saw kind of the things that were coming, I knew I was going to need all the help I could get in this world. Blessings from the Lord, help in um, in everything. I just, I could see that things were about to get crazy, you know, with the, the C word uh, virus type situation. So anyways, um, all right, so I finished that book today. And as it reads, chapter one, verse three, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein for the time is at hand. So every time I finish this book of Revelation, I start to look in my day and, and look for, you know, where I wonder what the blessing is going to be, you know, just just looking for it. Because I learned right off the bat, like from the first time I finished the book ever, uh, you know, there's, there's usually blessing within 24 hours, it seemed, within the day. Um, usually, usually sooner than the latter part of a day. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, um, yeah, later within the day. So I was considering today, and I'm back home, uh, flew back, we got back from Florida today, a few hours ago. And as I was reflecting on my day today in particular, I'm like, all right, Kevin, where, where was the blessing from the Lord this time? And of course, there's so many, right? That's usually how it is. Sometimes it's like one major thing. Um, that's how it kind of started off to be. It was like major things, like one major thing within a day. Now it tends to be like um, just a multitude of, of blessings and stuff. So today, uh, the blessings that I had, so many, I'll name a few. Um, flying in, you know, there's kind of some rough turbulence coming um, down for landing. Not, not terrible, but I mean, it was starting to shake and stuff. <clears throat> shake the wings of the, the plane and stuff. And you never know, I always think of the 1% or 3% chance of things. But, um, you know, the flight landed fine and everything. Uh, that was a blessing. You never know what could happen. Turbulence didn't get much worse. That was great. Um, I would say the biggest thing though was, so I'm at the airport and this couple kind of like, uh, waves over at me and calls me over. Now get this, this is so providential and this is amazing how the Lord works. This is, uh, the, the dude was a friend of a friend of mine whom I kind of reconnected with as of late, as of the last couple of weeks or so. And, um, and my buddy, whom I reconnected with, was has been struggling, going through some things. And I've been praying and interceding for him and, and touching base with him. And so has this other man who uh, happens to go to the same church I go to <laughs> in Minnesota. And I'm in Florida. I'm in Fort Myers in, in the airport coming back home today, a few hours ago. And, um, and this brother happens to be a brother who um, this friend of mine... Um, has been really just being encouraged by uh, the Lord had been using this brother who I just met today to bless my friend. The Lord had been using me to, to bless my friend, uh, to prompt me to pray and just, just check in on my brother. So of all the places in the world, you know, of all the people you could meet, like I meet this guy who's friends with my friend in the airport. And my buddy who was struggling was sharing with this bro, like this YouTube channel and stuff. So he shared it with this this guy who I met for the first time today. And uh, he said he recognized me from this channel, from these videos that the, the Lord has me do. This is how we met. So this was the blessing. And to find out we go to the same church. And just talking a little bit about the days that we live in and, and how to strive in these last days and what to be focused on. Um, <laughs> how great, how great. When you meet a believer, uh, it's an oasis in the desert, it feels like. Uh, you become so encouraged. <clears throat> and especially in this situation where you see the sovereign hand of God. Uh, you know, he's, what it kind of taught me was the Lord is so sovereign. He's behind everything. There's not like a molecule that moves and the Lord doesn't know about it. And that's on everything, in everything. So, uh, you know, anyways, I met this, this brother, um, Steve, and uh, his wife, you know, um, Chris. 
and just some fellow believers who are solid, who are striving, who are loving the Lord, and who know my buddy, and we've been interceding and blessing him. And that was the strength of the journey. You know, it made me think of the, the prophet in, in the Old Testament who says, Lord, I, it's only me alone who's out here. And the Lord says, no, there's 7,000 others who haven't bent the knee to Baal. Uh, so at times it feels like you're the only one out here, but the Lord encourages us. He has these divine appointments where we can come together and just be encouraged and blessed. <clears throat> and that's what happened today. On the 90th time that I finished the book of Revelation, the Lord promises a blessing. Guys, I'm making this video to tell you, uh, everybody out there, if you need a blessing, if you need some help, if you need some guidance, uh, if you need a miracle, if you need something that doesn't seem possible um, from the hand of the Lord, read the book of Revelation. Um, I hope everyone watching this uh, video and these videos is reading scripture every single day. If, if this video has come across one of you guys and you haven't been, understand by, by reading scripture, you get in the proximity of the Lord by his Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you begin to uh, just be in the place where you can receive the gift of grace. Um, grace to believe on Jesus Christ, who he is, what he did, to be saved, to be transformed. And um, that's going to get you saved, and you're going to need that soon, a lot sooner than later. Uh, I'd say do it right now. Do it do it tonight. Start reading scripture. Uh, repent of your sins. Confess your sin. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for what I've done. Be specific and ask him to forgive you. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. And um, yeah, so get saved. And for everyone else who's already kind of striving and following Jesus, be reading Revelation. I would say whatever kind of uh, Bible reading plan you may be on. I would read a chapter of Revelation every day. There's 22 chapters. You can get this done in like uh, you know three weeks, um, a day or two if you read a couple chapters. Some are shorter. <clears throat> um, I do that. So I track. I track. I track my reading of Revelation the the day that I finish the book, and then I'll I'll jot down the uh, the blessings that incur. And, and there's my blessing. You know the the, the odds have to be crazy to <laughs> to meet this brother who. Uh, knows my buddy Jeremy, and uh, and we all connect, and we all encourage each other, and and just um, and fellowship for for some time at the airport, you know. Praise the Lord. Read Revelation, guys. It'll bless you. God promises it. You know, that's the coolest thing about it. Is like uh, you might think, like, oh, we'll see how it goes. Like, oh, you're gonna see for sure. The Lord will deliver. He promises it. You know, and, and he doesn't um, he doesn't go back on these promises. So. Be encouraged. Be reading scripture. It's a magnificent thing when you get yourself in the vicinity of the Holy Spirit and when you get obedient and when you get holy and forsake sin and embrace holiness and living differently, you, you, you see that all your needs are, are provided for and taken care of. And it's it's a humbling experience, but take it. Receive it. Receive everything the Lord wants to give to you because uh, we're going to need it in these last days. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. King Jesus bless you. Tune in tomorrow for another video, and I will talk to you then. God bless you.